Okay, guys, grab the popcorn, have yourself a cold beer or a drink of your choice, line them up and get ready for this one. What is, what is her name? Zoltar, warrior princess. She is anti-abortion, but she's pro-choice. Oh my goodness, let's go. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about abortion. I am totally anti-abortion, believe it or not. Um, wow. I totally am, but I'm still pro-choice. Yeah, well, I am too. I am fully pro-choice before the woman gets pregnant. And I'm also pro-choice after she gets pregnant, and the father should be able to opt out. <laughs> Just like she can. But go on ahead and tell us how you're going to support men's reproductive rights. Uh, I have my own personal beliefs and morals and whatnot and what have you. Um, but I also realize that other people don't have the same morals as me. And I also realize that people have the same free will that I do. And I also know better than to try to force other people into my point of view or my way of thinking. Um, people have their own free will, except if you're pre-born. <laughs> Oh, then you'd have no say in it. Um, I believe these new bills being passed by the Republican states are absolute fucking bullshit. You go, girl. You tell us what you really think. Don't hold back. Just, just let it out. Bullshit. <laughs> they want to jail doctors. They want to jail women. They Untrue. Criminal penalties would be for the doctor only, not the woman getting the abortion. Uh, nice try. I want to give women who abort their rapist's baby more time in prison than the rapist would get. You know, um, if a woman is raped and it's a horrible, unfortunate situation, it's traumatic, very emotional, very delicate thing to deal with. How that can be dealt with, however, is called the morning after pill. It's probably available at the hospital in the intensive care unit or wherever women go to get treated for their, their assault and get the rape kit. They could probably ask one of the nurses, excuse me, could I get the morning after pill, please? I don't want to have a baby. There are other options for that particular corner case, Zoltar. I mean, come on. It's absolute freaking boulder dash. It's, it's like, I can't even think of a good word. Oh, I like bullshit. That's, that's usually pretty good. Honestly, um... <laughs> boondoggle is what it is um yeah it makes me sick it really does all these pro-life like oh yeah we just care so much about this baby and or like even that even though it's like legitimately a clump of cells and people are like all over twitter showing me pictures of dead babies and why are you afraid to look at a sonogram of a baby inside of a womb why would that be a problem it's not really a baby it's just a reflection of sound waves from a lump of cells inside the woman. Stuff, and it's like, first of all, nobody's aborting babies that far along. Do you pay attention to the news that in New York you can now abort a baby up until it is being born? Oh, you missed that. You, you, didn't, you didn't hear that. Like, they're aborting fucking embryos and zygotes. Did you hear about the bill in, in Virginia? That would have essentially done the same thing. You haven't, you, you haven't heard that. Okay. It's just really frustrating to me, to be honest, because this is just a siege on women's rights. What about men's rights? Do we do we have any say in this? Oh, no, no, no. Of course not. No, no. Equality for everybody except men, and especially when it comes to babies. It is. It absolutely is about controlling women. These bills are written by men, and they are, like, there are some women in the patriarchy. The patriarchy isn't just men. Is this uh, internalized misogyny is what you're getting at? Just like a man can be a feminist, a woman can be a part of the patriarchy. No real man is a feminist. Honestly, that's what we're socialized to do. That's what we are socialized to be. Ah, uh, society. Blame society. I can't blame myself for making decisions in my own life. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I've got to go along with what the society believes I should do. You know, you're right. Uh, society believes men should uh, have no say in the birth of his child. I don't agree with that. So I, I, I'm with you on this whole society thing. So it's not really that surprising that 
you know, the governor, Kay Ivey, is making, uh, pass that bill. You know, it's like, okay, how do you feel, honey? You feel like you're accepted by your male counterparts? She is the duly elected governor of the state of Alabama. She is a woman in power, a position of power, which you feminists are always saying women do not have enough positions of power. Governor Ivey is a woman in a position of power. Why don't you just come out and tell us what you really mean? You just don't want any old woman in a position of power. You want crazy Marxist socialist, crazy communist people who are female in positions of power, right? Too scared to go against them, so you're just gonna be like, oh, all life is precious, even though you just had six men executed in the time that you've been governor. But so what if they deserve to be executed? What if they murdered people? What if they were rapists? What if they were horrible, horrible people? that were found guilty in a court of law and sentenced to death. Now, you can argue whether the death penalty is a good thing or not, but I tell you what, some brutal killers deserve it, in my opinion. But really, all life is precious? What about the sinner? What about the criminal? All life is precious? Bullshit. You're a hypocrite. What, what, what has the zygote lump of cells amoeba done to deserve to be murdered? Um, just... I'm just curious, how do you compare that to a cold-blooded killer who gets the death penalty under our law and a developing child that has done nothing? You're a disgrace to women everywhere. Except inconvenience the mother, which is 99% of abortions. But go on ahead, Zoltar. Tell us what you think. And nobody likes you, and I bet your grandkids are extremely disappointed, but they'll never tell you that, Kay Ivy, because they want your money. Aren't you making a lot of assumptions here? Aren't you? Kay Ivy has a bunch of money. How do you know that? Maybe you do. I don't know. What's the difference? She is the duly elected governor of Alabama. The legislature passed the law specifically to challenge Roe versus Wade. Why do you agree with Roe versus Wade? You're all this free will and women should have a choice and all that, but you have no vote on this topic. I thought feminism fought for the right, fought for the right for women to have the vote. But I guess in this one particular thing, you do not want women who happen to be pro-life to vote on it. Boom. Shocker. I digress. Um, yeah, if we really want to stop abortion, a ban on abortion and jailing women for having abortions is not going to stop abortion. How about free birth control? Would that do the job? Here's your free birth control. Here's your free RU486. Here's your free diagrams or diaphragms, your IUDs, your patches and all this other shit. But abortion only in rape and incest cases and life of the mother. Well, would you go for that? Of course not, because abortion is the backup plan. It's the last get out of jail free card for the consequence free existence of women in the Western world. It's going to stop safe abortion. We have been here before as a country and we need to learn from our past. Now, how many women died of abortion? You know, they lied about the numbers. It was less than 10,000 before Roe versus Wade just in case you didn't know. This is absolutely ridiculous. I said it already. It's boondoggle. It's balderdash. It's fucking nuts. It's bullshit. So moving on. Yeah. If we actually want to make a dent in abortions, yeah. what we need to do is implement things like comprehensive sex education. Um, I think we have that in, in almost every school. The problem is they're teaching, hey, you can have all the sex you want and you can still get an abortion. Oh yeah, there's this birth control stuff, but it'll fail. You still have the sacrament of abortion. We need to uh, provide unhindered access to birth control. Oh. What uh, What is hindering your access to birth control currently? What are these roadblocks? What are these walls in your way of getting pills or condoms or anything else you desire at the Walmart? What What What, what, what is standing in your way? Help me understand that and I'll help you fight to remove those barriers. Oh, the way. There, there, there aren't any, are there? All types of birth control. Plan B pill. You know they're trying to ban that too? Mm, I've not heard anyone wanting to ban that. Maybe the RU486, which is the abortion pill is what they call it, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. We need to give women full control over their bodies. You have full control over your body. You can take all the birth control that's available almost free or cheap and demand he use a condom or not have sex with him if he won't. 
you have all the choice in the world. I told my story before. Oh. I did a whole thread on, on Twitter oh. about how I tried after my second child to get my tubes tied. Some doctors will turn you down if you want to get your tubes tied because they think at some point in the future you might want to have more children and I believe the procedure is irreversible. That's why they turn you down. You could have gone to another doctor. You could have gone to one that would do it for you. But she didn't. I was denied. I tried after my third child. I was denied because I didn't have a boy. Yeah, I'm quite certain that's exactly what the doctor told you. You don't have a boy yet, so I'm not going to do that for you. What, what the hell difference would that make? If you don't, this is not like the royal family. We have to have an heir. I mean, what the what the hell kind of bullshit are you making up here, woman? Finally, after my fourth child, they relented and finally allowed me to have control over my own fucking body. So you got a you got your tubes tied after four children. Okay. You know, the same thing that happened to me happens to women everywhere. They're stuck in abusive situations where their husbands know that with every child, they get more and more stuck. My ex would sabotage my birth control. He would force himself upon me if I tried to say no. In other words, your ex-husband raped you. That is a horrible thing. Did you call the police and have him arrested for rape? Oh, you didn't. I was stuck. I didn't know my worth. I had absolutely no resources. I had no family support. To this day, my own father still talks to my ex-husband. Daddy issues, gents. Daddy issues. Um, who chose this guy for you? Was it your parents that picked this guy out to marry? Was it uh, an arranged marriage? Who forced you to have four children with this rapist? And oh, it's okay. I don't know both sides of the story. Do you need to know both sides of the fucking story? If a man beat the shit out of your daughter, would you ever talk to them? She was married to a guy who raped her if she refused sex and beat her. Well, this man must be in jail by now, right? It's just, anyways, I digress once again. It's frustrating. It's some bitterness and resentments I'm working on, not just against my father, but against, you know, the male patriarchy in general. So you hate men, is what you want to tell us. I'm safe now. Everything's great. That's good. That's good. Uh, I'm sorry that you didn't get out sooner, but I don't know what I could have done personally. There are female shelters, female-only shelters for domestic violence, uh, there's a police force, there's a Duluth model, and there are laws against beating up women and men and raping your wife. So what uh, am I supposed to tell you? Honestly, I'm at a point in my life where I'd love to have another baby, but I can't get my tubes untied. But you know what? Gentlemen, did you hear that? Doctors will sometimes refuse to have women's tubes tied because they might change their mind later and it's irreversible listen again where i'd love to have another baby but i can't get my tubes untied but you know what that's okay because that is my choice do you think perhaps your doctor decided not to get your tubes tied after two babies or whatever because he or she thought you might change your mind and now you have zoltar that was my choice, and I lived with it. I just can't help but wonder where me and my two other children would be had I been able to have control over my body. You did have control over your body. You had birth control. You had everything else except the tubal ligation. You had an abusive husband who raped you when you turned him down for sex. He beat you up. And yet, this evil son of a bitch, who likely isn't in jail, still has a relationship with your parents. They say there's two sides to every story. There's actually three. There's your side, there's his side, and the truth. I wonder what really happened. Link is below. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.